Ciao ragazzi! Hello Fantastics! Welcome to another episode of Watercolors for Beginners. And in this video we will make poppy flowers. So the materials you will need are, of course, watercolors, a brush, and a straw. Yeah, you heard it right, a straw. You want to start by randomly put some clear water on the paper, like so. And then begin with the first color. I chose a very bright yellow. And of course, don't freak out if the colors look too bright, because you know that they dry lighter. They always dry lighter, so don't freak out. And then I put some orangey red. And if you put too much water, you can always remove it with some paper towel. And then I put another red, a darker red like so. And another darker red. If you want to, you can also define the petals of the flower, like so. And then with the darker red and a little bit of blue, you can create a darker color, like a purplish color, and put it on the bottom of the flower and in the center of the flower. And now with a darker color, you want to create the pistols effect with a smaller brush, like so. If you want to, you can also remove a little bit of color with some clear water to give it more light. And now you want to create the stem of the flower, so create a darker green using some blue and some green, and then a lighter green using some ochre color and some green. Poppy flowers always come with a lot of buds, so you want to create some bud here and there using just some green, a lighter green, and then add some darker green, like so. And now the fun part! You want to create the grass around the flower using a very special trick. So put some colors on the bottom, and you want to use two or three colors, and then take a straw and blow some, some air on the color, like this. So, you will create a grass effect. And then repeat it, add in more colors. So, keep doing that until you reach the result you desire. And now dry using an air dryer. So I want to show you again this trick of the straw. It's very funny and very useful. And a lot of watercolor artists use it. So um, you want to put some clear water on the paper and then some colors. You can put all the colors that you prefer. So uh, I pretty much 
put the primary colors here, so blue, yellow and red. And now you want to take a straw and blow some air on the color and voila! Using a straw to create some effect is very easy to do, so it is very suitable for beginners because it doesn't require any particular experience. It's just pure instinct and the results are really beautiful and you can use it to do a lot of things. If you put too much water, of course, you can remove it using a paper towel. So in this case, you can use this effect to represent some grass in your poppy flowers field. Now we can add some more poppy flowers, just repeating all the same passages we did before. So now I'll create the stems, as we did before, and the little buds. I personally think that this exercise is perfect for beginners, because it is very simple to make and the results are beautiful, and most of all, you can have a lot of fun to do that, especially using the straw to create some very beautiful and funny effects. So this is it, it's done and if you want to, you can leave it like this with the white background or uh, you can warm that up and give just a thin layer of yellow. So guys, this is it! These are my poppy flowers made the, with this very simple technique and using the trick of the straw. So if you want to, you can also use a smaller paper like this postcard size. And yeah, that's it! I hope you liked it and if you did, please leave some thumbs up and some comments down below. And I will see you in my next Watercolor for Beginners episode. Ciao! Subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and click here for more videos.